hey guys it's ndagere here welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you for coming so in today's video i will be reacting to this video that i've been seeing on tiktok and i was really touched by it and i think we really need to talk about these things i really wish people more people could talk about this and so yeah i'm gonna play it watch it and then i'll be back and yeah let's talk about it one of the most uh, common questions i'm getting is you African, how did you not know how life is in America? And how did you want to move here so bad? Did you not know? Did you not know? And the answer is that answer to that is no, we do not know. I can only address this question and answer it from a South African's point of view. Television in South Africa, I believe, came in the 70s. That means that a lot of us didn't get television till mid 80s, 90s. Again, I can only speak from a village girl's point of view, those of us who grew up in a village. If this television came in the 70s, it didn't immediately come to us, Native South Africans, so that took probably another few years or a decade. So I'm 80s, early 90s, that's when we have our first TVs. So you're talking about early 80, late 80s, 90s of South Africans who understand apartheid, Jim Crow, who are living in the experience who are living in that depression and that horror and that treachery, right? And so when we open up TVs for the first time and we see Bill Cosby, when we open up our TVs and we see R&B, and we see beautiful African-Americans, we see actors, we see them being police in police shows, they are, they are uh, being represented as major parts in movies. That's what we saw. We know nothing about birth, we know nothing about birth of a nation. We know nothing about what you guys are going through. What we are seeing from a South African's perspective is that, oh my God, these black Africans made it. Look at them doing it. Of course I want to be like that. I'm tired of this apartheid here. It looks like African Americans got their stuff together in the US. You have to remember colonization, racism, imperialism, all of that. It will never expose itself. We have to go out of our way to expose it. So no. The, the media we are consuming, African-American media, is nothing but positive things about America. It is not up until rap music. Do you realize that there's something going on in, in America, right? But even in rap music, then you watch the award shows, and then all of a sudden the rappers are dressed nice, they're talking nice, they have all these multi-dimensional, diverse friendships and stuff like that, and you're like, oh, maybe rap music is just art. It's not depicting reality. So there are these factors that are in place. And we all cannot forget that African-Americans are misinformed about who we are. They are constantly being told that we are nothing but loincloths, we are weak, we did nothing, right? That's to make them not wanna attach to Africa. Okay, that's on purpose that they have you guys feeling like that. When we come here, what's the first thing that we hear? African-Americans are lazy, right? And so picture that uh, dynamic where you think African-Americans are all celebrities. You walk in here, you have different people telling that African-Americans are lazy. And it is a mindfuck. It takes time, but we do sort it out. And that's why there's regret later. We never knew when we... So in the video before that you've seen, this lady is a South African creator. And she's talking about the experience that she faced when she went to the States and so many like people were asking her like, especially the African-Americans, they were asking her why like we as African continent, we left them to be like, you know, we never fought for them, never looked for them or never went to get them back. I'm like, really? Mm. And she also goes on and talks about on how there was still an apathy because me in Uganda, we were we were independent in 1962 and then tv came in uganda in 1963 yeah that's when we had tv yeah, that was the only way that we could see the outside world and then in south africa they still had issues going on and yeah she said on how tv came to them in the 80s so yeah it's a very mixed up thing and you are we are totally different as a content we have so many different countries and she was pressed because when she left and then there is a group of people that were telling her that black or african americans are lazy but then you need to realize me in my country in uganda the only time that 
this is this is really like some i wish more people could talk about these things because it needs to be discussed and talked about and the thing is the only way that we could actually know or see what is happening to people like us in those countries in the western world was through tv or what we saw on the media and i find it like weird now that when i go on the internet i see a lot of african-american people with so much anger towards us i don't blame them because of what they were given to them but i feel there is a lot of healing that needs to happen because if you put the blame on us for not fighting for you guys it's tv to us we always see like the best life of of you guys you the african-american people like if you watch the music videos if you watch movies if you watch uh anything on on tv it's always showing us like you guys are living the dream that we we want to live in and we feel like we are in a horrible place and we need to come to your place so and you look at the rappers in award shows it's all like positive it's all amazing it's all exciting so we want we see that it's all positive we never see any negative side of you <laughs> i'm sorry to laugh but we are never seen any negative part of the african-american side so i saw the video and i was like what african-americans when they come to our countries we see them as an american person african-americans need to realize when they come to our countries in african countries you're seen as americans not as the way you're treated in those countries and it's upsetting that you guys think we don't care about you that's why and then some people have the audacity of some time to comment like if africa is also that amazing why are they even coming to us or coming to our places because we see positive things about you <laughs> in media on tvs and i think the shift now is because there is internet where we can see different parts of your side and we're like uh what like it's through internet that i even realized that i have this this skin tone i never like knew that i was different like i never did that and it's through internet that i was like um so if you are like this you're treated in a certain way because i see a lot of things online that i never thought and i second guess myself like why do i even need to go to places like that but it was never there before so i just wanted to say or put this out there like we love you guys stop putting the blame on us like the same way you are shown that we are just slums and animals and dirty and poor and nothing is happening in our continent of africa yeah we are shown the different side of you also that you are living in a positive uh rich uh free world that we also are admiring to be in so it's like a two-way thing and i feel like we need to come together as a people and like talk about these conversations because they need to be talked about so yeah this really opened my eyes when i saw it and it was a pattern like it's too much a pattern like i see a lot of african americans like you know don't want to be associated with africans because of issues or how we are seen or how they are scared about us through media and yeah it just it's just it's just not good it's not nice yeah so what do you think guys what what should be the solution because at the end of the day it's not about this or that now that we are trying to see the truth and trying to see who we are and love ourselves and embrace ourselves as a people what is the way forward <laughs> yeah so there's also a creator from Nigeria, she's called Ivy. She's also good at covering stuff like this. So what do you think, guys? What is the way forward? Anyway, I just want to let you know that we guys, we love you. And you should also love us back because we are one. And <laughs> yeah, enough hate. It's just too much now. Yeah, let's use this time to love each other and learn each other, embrace each other and 
grow as a people <laughs> yeah that is it for today and i hope you enjoyed the video yeah don't forget to subscribe comment i'll be bringing more things i'll be talking about more things that we really need to start talking about as a people yeah that's it and i'll see you in the next video bye